If you're like me, you're always looking for a practical way to catch issues early and keep your APIs reliable. So in today's demo, I'm gonna show you a quick way on exactly how to integrate Blaze Meters API monitoring with Microsoft Teams so you can get instant alerts where your team is already collaborating. You're gonna quickly see step-by-step step how easy it is to set up, how to customize alerts, and why this integration could save you time and headaches when things go sideways. So let's check it out. All right, so during this demonstration, I'm gonna show you once again how API monitoring alerts can be configured to be sent to your Microsoft Teams channel. All right, so I don't have Microsoft Teams installed on my local machine here, but I'll do an example that I have for an existing team. So to add Microsoft Teams integration to a test, click on the edit link to navigate to the test editor section. Expand the test environment section to access the complete test settings. Next, click on the integration section to show any configured integrations and to add new ones. So let's click on the add integration to add a new integration for this test. Click on the connect Microsoft Teams button. As you can see, a Microsoft Teams channel workflow URL is required to configure the connection. So in the next step, we're gonna create this workflow URL and return to the screen to enter it. All right, so now we're looking at the teams available in your Microsoft Teams, and we're gonna select the channel within a team. So in my example, I have this channel called SpaceX API. So I'm gonna click on the three dots associated with the channel to be connected. Then I'm gonna select the workflow section from the dropdown. I'm gonna type webhook into the field workflow section. Next, the webhook template link is displayed. I'm gonna click on the webhook template link, enter a name for the channel link. So once again, in my example, we're gonna enter alerts from API monitoring. And I'm gonna click next. So the detail pane shows available teams and channels. Let's select the team channel where the alerts should be sent to. Click add workflow. And the workflow URL has been created. Let's click the copy to copy icon to copy the URL to the clipboard. And let's complete the whole thing by clicking on done. So now we can return to our API monitoring screen to enter in that newly created webhook URL. So the URL has now been associated with the test. Enter a name for the channel being created. Notifications can be sent for different scenarios. So the first option is gonna be send an alert every time the test runs. The second option will only send an alert when the test fails. All right, so I've configured the notification for the third option. So for this option, an alert will be sent if the test fails two consecutive times and when the test passes after a failure. Let's proceed by selecting connect account. Let's click on save and run to save the configuration and execute the test. Now, let's click Run Now, and the test results screen will show that the test is passing. Awesome, so we're now gonna modify the test to actually cause a failure so we could test this all out. All right, so to do this, we're gonna increase the expected response time in the assertion section of the test. This will definitely ensure that this test fails. All right, let's complete the action by clicking on Save and Run. Let's click Run to run the test a few more times. All right, this is the one time when it's good that the test is failing, so it's failing, and it's failing more than twice. So as you can see, an alert has been sent to the Microsoft Teams channel. All right, so let's now fix the test and run it again. All right, so this past test will also send an alert to the Microsoft Teams channel because it's running successfully after the previous test failed. So in Microsoft Teams, we can now see a failed alert was sent when the test failed twice and a test pass alert when the test passed successfully. All right, so as you can see, setting up the Microsoft Teams integration is really quick and easy, and it's gonna allow your whole team to be involved whenever a test fails, and I think this is a great addition to your existing workflows. And that's it. You now got API monitoring hooks straight into your Microsoft Teams, giving you real-time visibility without leaving your daily workflow. With BlazeMeter, you get a unified, open source-based testing platform that covers everything from performance testing that we saw in my previous video, to API monitoring, functional testing, and more, 
all in one place, built for speed and skill. All right, so if you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to get more practical testing tips, and let me know in the comments below how you plan to use this integration in your own projects. Thanks for watching, and as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.